One of my experiences as an undergraduate student in engineering doing a lot of teamwork was that teams often failed. And so when I was able to teach a course that involved teamwork, I thought about structuring it in a way that was engaging and split the work up equally. And so I came up with the Jigsaw Classroom. The whole course that Chris runs is uh, run completely differently. You literally learn as you apply, which means that, yeah, there's no like learning stages and application stage. It's all one process, which is interesting. In the Jigsaw Classroom, they bring together a tutorial facilitation, a research paper, some peer review, and that all works towards their group project. So at the end of the semester, each student can say that they've contributed towards their group project. To be honest, at first I wasn't, uh, I didn't really know what he was doing. Uh, it was very, it seemed all very convoluted and strange. But um, as the weeks went on, I could sort of understood the method to the madness. And now that it's the end of the semester, I have this odd situation where I found that I knew all the course content without feeling like I ever had to pick up a textbook. Just like a complex system, it, it's hard to see what, how it all works. Uh, but by the end, they, they can really see the value in having used it and really appreciate the fact that they didn't have to do the whole group project themselves. And you find yourself with all these skills and techniques that you've been shown over the course of the semester and they just become ingrained as part of like a, a natural process. People learn these, each of these tasks individually and that then gives them the opportunity to teach other group members. The most interesting thing I teach is probably around the student facilitated tutorials. And so this is where students are allowed to take the course content and apply it in their own interesting ways. Uh, and as part of that process, we have a, a workshop the week before the facilitation and they bring all of their ideas and try and figure out how to best teach the rest of the class. The Most engineering teachers will, you learn the course, course content, you go home, you do questions, or you, you learn it and then you study it and then you do an exam. And it's very much just the same process all the time, whereas he's sort of flipped the process where it's all about learning before the lecturer is involved at all. Um, which, yeah, it's just a complete methodology flip. All right, so out of all of the techniques that you used, what was the most useful technique? Um, I think evaluation at the end was probably yeah. the most He's useful taught me a lot about learning. He, he tries to help you out as much as he can, but he also gives you the ability to work independently. What's given me the biggest thrill is seeing students take really dry content and translate it into something that's really interesting for them. Uh, so often they'll bring their own personal experience to the topic and inject it with a bit of life that I certainly couldn't do on their behalf. I'd say that Chris's teaching has really impacted me uh, because he's given me skills that I can apply outside of university. It was really nice having a lecturer that you could approach personally just like to say he's a really good guy. Like, <laughs> he's, he's really friendly, he's always up for a chat with the students. 